Okay class, today we're going to talk about the periodic table and specifically talk about classification. Kyle, how would you classify hydrogen? It's a nonmetal. Good. Now, what about helium? It's also a nonmetal. Very good, very good. Now, what about oxygen? Oh, that's easy. It's a metal. Unfortunately, that's incorrect. Not to an astronomer, it isn't. What are you talking about? Look, Professor, it's really simple. The periodic table is just hydrogen, helium, metals. Done. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. The periodic table has been built over the centuries to help refine our understanding of the fundamental building blocks of nature. Generations of chemists have dedicated their entire lives to understand the intricacies of individual elements. Not only that, but the beauty of the periodic table comes from its organization. Rows and columns majestically organized to help capture periodic trends, such as ionization energy, atomic radius, electron affinity, not to mention group names like the alkaline and alkaline earth metals, halogens, and the noble gases. Chemists have spent over 200 years to help build the table up to where it is today, and you're telling me you're gonna toss it all aside in the favor of some absurdly simplistic astronomy convention? Yeah, pretty much. Get out.